It's very important for young people, especially teenagers, to hear this message of joy. For them, religion is sort of formal and outside of their experience uh, going to church. They believe in God. They're sincere. They're idealists. They want to give their life for a good purpose and to give their life to God for those who are more religious. But there's a common thread going through the teenage world, which is a kind of deliberate inadvertence. Life is painful. I think all of us adults forget how painful life was as a teenager. We never realized that those were great years when we were going through them. We look back and think with, with nice feelings about the good old days. But the pain of teenage years is, is, is even more difficult today with all the media mail. I grew up in an age where there was no television. <laughs> Can you imagine? No cell phones, no telephones, no, well, telephones we had, yeah. But I'm like ancient. Uh, the point I'm making, though, isn't about me. It's about the fact that I think they use texting and they use uh, cell phones primarily to hide from the pain of life. They, they keep their attention absorbed on things that occupy them in the present moment. It's not a bad idea to be occupied in the present moment with distractions. I mean, I don't know how many crossword puzzles I've done in my life that just relax me, take my mind off. But they're communicating with everybody and it's a way of focusing attention because when they stop and sit down and say, where am I going with my life? Is this relationship good for me? Will it cause me pain? Just because I think I want it, do I really want it? Because the unfolding of life teaches you that you, what you wanted when you were 16 wasn't really good for you. And um, that takes maturity and growth. And so things change when you mature. 